morning, everyone. Uh, today, I imagine marks the official um, re-entry into poetry for me. So I'm going to see how I fare on this CYO Pro adventure. CYOPro.com, more there. But I have been reuniting with a few friends from high school and shortly after. And they have been asking, do you still write? What about poetry? And so on. I've got a little tired now of saying, it's a work in progress, it's a work in progress. So I believe that I'm back. This one was written in 2007. And uh, hopefully by the end of it, you realize where I was in life and how I was in life. So it's entitled, The Haunting. They say I must situate myself in my 30-something. It's the haunting. It has to be. The feeling that I'm waiting on my life to start beyond 30-something. Call it now close to 40. For that is nearer truth. That is truth, actually. The feeling cripples me. Makes me want to go out and do things. Things I know I can do but won't do. For the haunting takes over. Too late, it says. Too late. Too, too late. So why start? And I get lost in the lie. It is a lie, but it's now familiar. The familiar, haunting, darkness, overwhelming, no. That haunting, familiar, lie and no has become comfortable. Almost home, but not. It's comfortable not to move. It's comfortable to underachieve while always seeming to overreach. What's that about overleaping ambition? I don't want this to be my home. I do not want to live here. Get me something else that is not familiar, not so familiar. No one will hand it to me. I will get me something else that is the unfamiliar. I can't but succeed. Me succeed beyond my wildest and most vivid imagination. I mightn't recognize the me I'll come to be, but I'll be out of the reach of the haunting. I'll be out of the reach of voices that pretend to wrap me in comfort, but whisper only lies, but tell me only no. And out of their reach, I'll fly 30 something, maybe even close to 40 light years high. Part two. It's the haunting, you know. You have to reach down, down, deep down, deeper still. There, no, deeper yet. Just a little more than, ah, that's it. That's where honesty lies comfortably. The truth that only you know beyond all doubt this is what you know in your heart to be so. No one else knows. Truth is hidden. Truth is ugly. Truth is, I'm scared to death. I'm so afraid of failing at that which I believe I would do best. That which could not be done by any other as well as it could be done by me. It is only mine to do. It is unique to me. It's the haunting. It has to be. How could I possibly fail at that which is uniquely mine to do? I don't know how, I just can't seem to get past that I will. And what is more, I don't want it bad enough. I need to want it bad enough. I want to want it bad. My want has to become something stronger, a need. A need to want it like I want nothing else. A need to want it like it's the only thing I've ever wanted in my life. The only thing I want to do with my life. The only thing that is my life. Begin to believe that I can reach down, way down past the twice defeated, the honesty and the haunting and the truth that now is. Touch a trimass of love and life and laughter inspire me. Sometimes you just need to be inspired. My fingertips have touched it. I'm wrapping my hands around it. I'm holding tightly to it. 
squeezing the life out of it, squeezing my life out of it, and I find myself where I want to be, where I need to be, actually, home. One more. This was written when I was 17 years old. I came upon it the other day and I must have been in love. It's called I Can Dream. Maybe you won't hold me tight as often as I want you to. And maybe you won't kiss my lips and my face and my neck as I long for you to do. Maybe you won't tell me that you love me as often as every day. But I can dream about these things and more while you're away. I can dream that we're on a moonlit beach somewhere in the dark, or that we're taking lovely pictures by the river in the park, or better yet, we're holding hands, walking towards the sunset, and we're laughing at a joke of yours, walking towards the sunset. But these dreams are no more than what they are, just fantasies, and sometimes help to ease the pain of not tasting the realities. They're things you can hold on to and make them last much longer, than realities that come and go, making your longing stronger. Thank you.